Yeah? You want to know about the sign? Jewish? Am I Jewish? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not Jewish. Because uh, one five Yeah? I, well, I could be a Jew. Do you know what Jew, Jewish means? No. You know, you're, you got a black jacket, right? Yeah. Is it blackish or is it black? Is it, sorry? Is it blackish or is it black? It's black, right? So when you put the, the, the um, what's it called, the suffix at the end of something, you say ish. It, that's not it, is it? Okay, so I'm explaining to you. Jewish, right, is the, the people that are in the land of Israel right now. You know about the people in the land of Israel right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, those are not the real Israelites of the Bible. Okay, I'll take you guys are Muslim, right? Yeah. Okay, when you go into the Bible, when you go into history, biblical history, you find out that the people that are on this sign here, the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, those are the real Israelites, okay? Now, how do we know that? You know, there's a thing called prophecy. You know what the word prophecy means? What's, what does the word prophecy mean? Prophecy like prophets. The word prophecy, what does that mean? To say something before it happens, right? Yeah. Tomorrow, that, in a hundred years, that, maybe not so much in time span, but this is gonna happen. So when you check out the prophecies about the Israelites, do you mind if I read you some scriptures and I'll show you who this is talking about? Yeah. Okay, so the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, Okay, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, in the Bible. This is Bible. This is the Bible. Okay, the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Okay. And the 8th verse. Uh, sorry, uh, 68th verse. Okay. Right, 28 and 68. Now, do you know where Egypt, uh, do you know where Egypt is now? Okay, do you know where Israel is now? Sorry? In our world, and then our history, Israel not, uh, existed. Well, the, the history, the world history proves otherwise. Do you know what proves otherwise? You know about, you know about, uh, 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 um, you know about um, uh, Alexander the so-called great? I will tell you something. No, no, I'm asking Christianity you. Christianity is, uh, is uh, of the history. They, they are existed than the Jewish. Christianity is what? It's existed in uh, journalism than uh, Jewish. Well, I don't, I, I don't acknowledge Christianity. This ain't Christianity. Ah, so what is your... This, I told you, I'm an Israelite, I believe in the Bible. That's it. You're Israel? I'm an Israelite, and I, I read the Bible, that's it. I'm going to ask you something, before you go, I'm, let me ask you something. Yeah. Do you know, do you believe a man called Alexander the so-called Great existed? You don't believe Alexander the Great existed? What do you believe then? Do you believe, be we believe in Islam believe and Prophet Muhammad. I do. Yeah. do you know who believes. Alexander, do you know who Alexander the Great is? I don't know. Really, okay, Alex, you, you know about that's called circular history. Do you know what circular history is? Read about. No, no, let me read, let me, read about Prophet Muhammad and you will learn more. But I, I, you. hold on, hold Thank on. You. You're going to tell me. Taxi, bro, you, you. you told me I'm going to learn more. You don't even know Alexander the so called great existed. Okay, basically, when you what you find out is. Okay, uh, and I'm going to finish off here. I cut off a second ago, but I, you know, I came back on because they came up. But pretty much, when you find out about Alexander the Great, the so-called great, what he did is he went out there into um, um, uh, what he did is he went out there into Jerusalem because what he wanted to do, okay, showing you, uh, Esau was blessed with the sword. What he wanted to do was take down the Medio Persian Empire, okay. So the, you had the the, the, the Medio Persian, which at, which at the time they had the, the largest army that ever existed within the world, right? So Alexander the so-called great was up in his game and getting his power together or whatever, whatever his armies, whatever, whatever, okay. But what he, what he then did, okay, what he wanted to do was take down the media Persians. And when you check out Esau from, the, from going back all the way, man, they always had agent provocateurs and so on and so forth so that they could transfer the, the kingdom or whatever, whoever was ruling into their hands, all right? But he was doing it on the war tip. So what he did, he went out there into, into, into it because the dude said, we don't, there's no such thing as Israel. But to show you, show you that they don't understand and acknowledge circular history, you go out there into circular history, you find out that Alexander, the so-called great, when he wanted to make the next move, the next big move or the next big war, he went to what? He went into Jerusalem. Now, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty that's what the history says. He went out there into Israel and basically, you know, he went out there to find out, okay, whether he was going to be able to do that. And he found out within the scriptures, he was that he go that was going to tear down the media Persians. Okay, now you might say, oh, okay, maybe that wasn't, that didn't happen like that. But when you go into the scriptures, or whatever more, when you're trying to find out about the circular history on people like Alexander the so-called great, okay, and many other Romans and Greeks, what do they use as the reference, man? 
they used the, the Bible as the reference because the Bible was really the most accurate, okay, historical document on the earth because it has been maintained year on year. Okay, you got it to where people got copies all over the place, so you ain't gonna have an inaccuracy when people got multiple copies that's gonna scrutinize it. Okay, so I mean, pretty much with that, you know, uh, for the second time, I say, Oh, praise unto Yahweh, sing Yahweh, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, honest your brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.